Hello, I'm Volker Goller, I'm with Innovasic Semiconductor and we are showing our LAN and LESS concept for low complexity Ethernet this time on Embedded World 2016. What we got here is a Siemens S7 controller and a Profinet IRT network without those nodes running our well-known Fido 5000 real-time Ethernet multi-protocol switch so we can Profinet IRT with those and in between we got this little uh, modules here where we use the LEN technology, how we call it, the low complexity Ethernet node to directly address simple devices like switches or temperature sensors or simple actuators over Ethernet for very low cost, low complexity. It's a concept now, but we are going to make it a little chip like this. And this little chip will include the uh, VICE for two port and the switching capability. And we'll be able to directly output GPIO or SPI data. Components of this system, uh, this connected system, are the, the components of the connected system is the power meter, which is a, sends an amp, has an amp plus radio in it and sends signals out. The uh, collector, which receives the amp data and has GSM in it and sends it to the cloud, and then the analytics that shows where the rider rode and all of his data from the power meter including speed, cadence, power, altitude, humidity, temperature, and it overlays it on a map to show where the rider was riding. So the radio is simple. In order to connect it, you basically push the button, turn the button on, start pedaling, and it will connect up. The rider then puts it in the pouch in the back, and then he's ready to track himself during the race and this is live tracking so his coaches or people who are watching the race can see how the riders are performing so not only does it take the ant data from the power meter but any ant data either on the athlete or the bike so for instance as athletes have more wearables that they're using or if their shifting is electronic and it has the capability to provide data as to what gear they're in, now you can start putting together a complete performance picture for the bike and the athlete in specific races, and you can make suggestions on how they can improve. So what we are presenting here is Li-Fi technology, which is uh, an analogy to the Wi-Fi protocol, meaning light fidelity. We are using light to transmit data wirelessly, and uh, what we're having here are two possible solutions how you can use it. So we have a Li-Fi hotspot. In that case, uh, we have two uh, tablets connected in a local area network uh, via hotspot solutions and a light uh, connection. And this means uh, we have the possibility to use the easiness of light to connect wirelessly, but at the same moment having the security issue of cable-bound uh, technology. Um, the idea is, due to the limited area of where you can transmit data, you don't have to think about uh, difficult protocols, which means we have a low latencies, meaning data transmission in real time with very high data rates since you don't have to share the bandwidth of a link. Bergische Universität Wuppertal and we take part of this challenge of uh, Rainer's MCU Car 2016 and we have a lot of fun to be here and 
enjoy it. Thank you. Will this be the winning entry? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Better.